Hello folks, this is Steve AB4L. I'm in the midst of publishing my latest video. There's something wrong with YouTube's support infrastructure for publishing. I'm going to show you. I've got my Mozilla browser open and it's to the Steve AB4L homepage Here's the home page. Now look at it. This is the latest video published 15 minutes ago. Actually published. Crossing the Bridge 2023-09-27. Now, earlier this afternoon I published one of my Rag2 videos. Here it is, published 16, 6 hours ago. Okay? And here's the one that I published at midnight about the hot dogs for 69 cents. So the one that was just published 15 minutes ago is Crossing the Bridge. Now, I'm not logged in. I'm using Mozilla. It's just like you are coming to my home page. Now, if you click on videos, it's supposed to show you more videos that have recently been uploaded by my channel. What's the most, see, latest. What's the latest video they're showing? The one six hours ago. And the second one is the one about the hot dogs just after midnight. If I go to my home page, it correctly shows the video I just published 15 minutes ago. Now, it's not an artifact because I spotted it on my other machine and I came over here because I got to make a video about it. I'm going to hold the shift key down. What is holding the shift key down and telling it to refresh the page mean? It says, disregard any date and don't tell me to use anything that's cached in my computer. Send the page completely 100% fresh. So let's see if they fix the problem. I just did it. No. Is it the Mozilla browser? Okay, let's use Brave. There's Brave Browser, which is based on Chromium. And I go at Steve AB4EL. Right there at the top, it's showing my latest video. Crossing the Bridge, 02-2023-09-27. And it's showing the one right after that. It was published six hours ago. All right. These different pages are handled by different machines in a data center or even different data centers. And there's a breakdown right now in one of those support places. It isn't that they're trying to hide my latest video. I've got it playing on another machine. It's that part of their infrastructure right now is in big trouble. Now on this machine I'm logged into the other machine. I'm logged in here. You can do that. It's showing that Crossing the Bridge is the latest published video. 
I've got three that were published on September 28th. Got these really cheap. More rag two on 40, 20, 23, 0, 20, and crossing the bridge 0927. Now, if I go like this, it takes me Hello. to my home page. I'm logged in. I'm using Google Chromium browser. It correctly shows crossing the bridge published 19 minutes ago. I've been talking for four minutes. But when I go up here, right here, and I click on videos, the part of the infrastructure that supports this view on behalf of people like me is stalled. And what they're really sending me is what the last information they had, which is six hours old. Now, I can think of a couple of reasons why this would happen. The machines that handle this function are not currently able to communicate to a database that the machines handling this view have access to and correctly know the latest published video. Got it? Now, last week when I published a video pointing out a similar kind of trouble that YouTube infrastructure was in, when I published that video, they didn't, they didn't send the notification out to almost everybody on my subscribe list. How could I tell that? Because it only had, after like eight hours, it only had four views. So then I made a video called Crossing the Bridge and I, of me going down t and going and doing my heart health climb of Faith Rock Trail, crossing the bridge and coming back. And I stuck it in the middle of that and it fooled them. And then I got a lot of views. And I got teased by somebody who didn't understand what I was up to. YouTube doesn't like the world to know what's going wrong. And right now they're in trouble in yet another way. And I'm going to offer you a suggestion as to why it's happening. Once again, if I go back to this view, Hello, folks. if I force an update, hold the shift key down, Hello. the lineup is correct. I go to my playlist. I've created a new playlist called Crossing the Bridge, and as it should, it's showing two videos. This is the 22nd. Whoop, whoop, I did that wrong. And then here's the one today. They're both there. They're both public. Nothing's happened to them, but they're different videos. My Creator Studio correctly shows everything. But the moment I do something like this, it shows it in this view correctly. Hello folks, this is Steve AB. But as soon as I go here, now the question is how long will it take to get fixed? Who knows? Is this a tragedy? No. But it's clearly YouTube has been having troubles lately which pop up in different aspects of normal functioning, not working correctly. Google, like a lot of other people, is very big into this so-called AI. 
And as far as I can tell, that kind of computing is extremely CPU expensive, data center expensive. And in order to keep up with the crowd of competitors, I believe they're cutting into various data centers in their infrastructure to do that stuff. And then there are map, there are rotating malfunctions as a symptom of stealing capacity for AI, however it is that they're doing it at the moment. You can't build data centers overnight. I did in the news last week, it was in video or somebody, their valuation just skyrocketed because the people who are buying the stocks understand that the world is going to go crazy about AI and the way the computing gets done in a lot of places is with the graphical rendition chipsets. And the, they've already got the orders for like five years ahead already. Well, you can't build data centers overnight. So if somebody like Google wants to, quote, remain competitive with who? Amazon? Microsoft? They've got to get the computing capacity somewhere. And I think one of the places they're getting it is from YouTube infrastructure. It's their right, but they're kind of doing it under the covers. And this, and again, I've been, how long have I been talking? Let's see if the emergency has passed. I'm holding the shift key down. I'm going to reload the page. Have they caught up yet? No. Either the, the data, either the data center handling this function for me cannot communicate back to the central database to know what the actual latest video upload was, or it's paralyzed with doing some other function and it's simply resending old data, cached. And when they relieve that data center of the burden, this will update correctly. I'll put a note when I find out that it begins to behave up to date, up to the moment. In the meantime, this is Steve A.B. for you. Just observing what's going on. Saying see you in 73.